Friday night hang time starts now. Good evening, everyone, and hope you have plenty of love in your heart for this weekend because we're about to bring the passion to hardcore high school basketball fans. I'm Donnie Tillman. And I'm David Coy. No love for these rivals in the Sagamo Conference tonight. That's right. Auburn, where the Trojans were hosting Porta, and they were fired up for this contest. A very good ball game. We'll pick things up in the second quarter. Max Miller goes in for two. Blue Jays up 21 to 12. Later, it's going to be Cooper Eaker. Misses the three here. Everett Stevens grabs the board. He gets the put back in for two. Johnny on the spot. Porter will respond. No, Matt Mueller is going to take it to the rack, and the attack is good for two. Trojans would hang close, though, which drew points. Who finds Tristan Weaver? He makes the bucket. Nothing but swish, but Auburn couldn't get it to go. Porter, Porter wins tonight. 7-2-50 your final. To the north, Pleasant Plains hosting Athens tonight. This will be David Schultz is going to find Matt Jackson. Baseline floater is true. Back the other way, Nick Hanner to Ryan Freer. Spot up three, nothing but net right there. Corbin Tullis can spot up and shoot the three. Example A, right there. Nick Hanner, though, he can also hit the three. So we're going back and forth here. Athens gets the win on the road, 66 to 59. Williamsville at home tonight. They would host Pawnee. We would start in the second quarter. Cole Carson, back from a nice injury, makes a two, and it looks like he has no problems. He gets up pretty nice things. 33-17. Indians would answer, though. Evan Roberts tries up, takes it to the wreck, but Carson would continue. This time, he would go out for three, dialing it up long, nothing but net bullets ahead, 41-24. And later on, it would be Mitch Clark goes all the way in, puts it up, Gets the two ball, and Williamsville wins 56 to 37. Staying in the Sagamo Conference, New Berlin looking for a win tonight as they would head to Niantic to meet the Storm. Third quarter, Allen Brown gets past the defender, made the two. It's then it's Jake Fuchs in the paint and makes the two ball. But later on, Pretzels would continue. Connor Berger drives into the two, and Storm would answer. Wyatt Beals finds the net. Sagamon Valley wins 59 to 45. Mount Pulaski playing host to Illini Central tonight, and uh, we'll start bouncing balls in the third quarter. Peyton Taylor, Bo Collier makes the long three there. That makes it 33-15. Later, Central would respond with Jordan Lynn. Long two is good. To the fourth quarter now. How about Brayden Curry? He's going to miss the shot here, but Taylor grabs it, and then he goes back up strong in the paint. He gets the deuce there. Then off the rim, watch Lynn. He's going to collect the rebound. Johnny on the spot, showing up again in our highlights. Basket's good. Mount Pulaski wins it 51 to 26. Waverly hosting North Mac. Last game for JV coach Steve Smith. First quarter we go. Bailey Crothers, Josh Wilson, and he makes the first two ball of the night. Later on, Crothers again over to Wilson one more time, and he makes another two ball. But the Panthers would respond. Graham, uh, Grant Graham over to Kane Clark goes in tries to put it up. Yeah, he's good to go. He ties it up at four apiece. But later on, Brendan White finds Clark again, makes the basket, and that wouldn't be enough, though. 59 to 43, the final. Check in on the Central State 8 Conference. That's right. Lincoln leading the conference heading into tonight. They're hosting SHG. And hey, let's go. Let's take center stage here. Lights out. Now lights on. Peyton Ebelher to Will Cook. Lights out from the three ball there. Then it's Sean McDonald. He's going to answer for the Cyclones. Baseline jumper there. Oh, Peyton Ebelher, though. Ebler. Fire. Peyton Sorry. Ebler got it. Ebler. Ebler over to Will Cook, making it three. All right, I'll, I'll take the highlights. You got over. the egg. Thank you. <laughs> Jordan Perry to Gavin Block. Block on the block. Gets the layup to go. Back comes SHG. Gabe Green looks around and finds McDonald. Wide open for the three. Lincoln, however, wins at home. 53 to 41. In Chatham, the Titans taking on Springfield High tonight. You can tell the Titans are all excited. We start in the fourth quarter. Drew Perriott makes the three ball, and he put that hand up. He enjoys that. Springfield High responds though. Tavon Kincaid to Keenan Day makes the deuce tied at 14. But Ethan Hunt drives in. Dribble driver puts it up and gets the two. In Chatham with the ball. But check out Obadiah Church. Nice interception. Takes it all away and throws it down. But the Titans would come on back. Drew Perry out again. This time over to Ethan Hunt. Makes the deuce. And Glenwood hangs on in overtime. 65-62.
MacArthur at Southeast, and this game, very surprising, especially the outcome. Amir Brummett knocks down the tray right there for the Generals, but they were trailing big double digits in the second half. D'Angelo Hughes rebound, and he's the hustle man of the night, taking it the other way. Two of his 21 points as he knocks Ooh. down that basket there. Mark Johnson then to Darius Owsley. Somehow, some way, that ball gets in the net for two. Dallas McLean from outside for MacArthur knocks down the tray, but the night belongs to Southeast. This is what we wanted to see from the Spartans all season long. That is Damian Champion with the three. Southeast wins at 75 to 57. Talk. This is a very big win. This is a statement game that they have. They beat us three times in a row. We have, we have to come out and take care of business. This is very what, uh, much what Southeast is about. We just have to come back together and show everybody what Southeast has been about. All right, Jacksonville paying a visit to the capital city. Lampier hosting the Crimsons. We'll pick things up in the second quarter. Yakima Rose still the other way. Layup foul is good. He would go to the free throw line for the three-point try. Rose playing some defense as well. He intercepts the ball, finds Andre Williams for the layup. Let's go, Williams says. Let's Ooh. go. Zach Lonegren finds Brandon McCombs, who goes off last and in for two. But Lampier's night belongs to well, for the Lions, Xavier Bishop to Nick Patton, he drains the three. He's also going to play golf next year. 66-57, Lampier is the winner. Our last CS8 game of the evening, Rochester hosting Eisenhower. Starting in the third quarter, Rockets up. Keith Byers fights through the defenders with the hook. Panthers down 28-17. Fourth quarter, we go. Byers feeds it to Steven Jarrett. And he gets the three ball. But later on, Rockets would come on back. And this is already leading. Howard Fisher gets it over to Colin Stallworth. Puts up the long jumper, and yeah, he's good to go. Rochester wins 46 to 34. In the Apollo Conference, Charleston taking on Taylorville. We're starting the first quarter. Eric Dust underneath the hoop, off the glass, and in for two. Those are the two of the game, the first two of the game. Trojans respond. Little Strader knocks down a three after it dances around a little bit. Charleston up by one, but in transition, Tanner Champley decides to put it up in. Make his own three. It's now eight to three tornadoes. He can play then, football too. Champley misses another three, but Thomas Snyder grabs the board, decides to put it back up. Yeah, he finds the net. Taylorville wins 57 41. Number one Springfield Lutheran back on the court after a tough Tuesday night win. And it was the Crusaders hosting Mount Pulaski this evening. We'll start with Steven Cowles. He's going to leap over a pile of defenders and he's going to score the basket. Man, watch Ooh. out down below there. Got some Everybody's ups. okay. Cool, cool, all right. Now the other way, Josh Kirby from behind the basket makes the two, he will get the foul as well. Pearson Wofford having another great game. Fast break layup is good for two, and then it's time for the air walk, so I'm just gonna be quiet. Just watch. Whoa, whoa, nobody told me that bounced in. <laughs> That's a layup in the half, Luther wins 75-39. Staying with the MSM, Lakewood hosting Calvary. We would go to the third quarter. Isaiah Martin over to Michael Johnson, who nails the three. Then it would be Tyler Upshaw. He would get into the action. Behind the stripes, he makes a nice tray. But the home team, Lincolnwood, would respond. Trevor Wagner. Oh, just watch it. It was nice. He answers with his own three. But Len Wagner again gets the oop by Brian Graham for the bucket. The Calvary wins by one, 49-48. The Flash is paying a visit to the Wildcats in the first quarter. We go. Dylan Wright finds Ben Fromey at the top of the key, and he has a nice three ball. But later on, it'd be Brody Walton. Feeds it at Garrett Stevens, who makes a nice layup. Cats would continue. Tegan Wicks with the pull-up jumper inside the paint. Watch him one more time. Yeah, he's good to go. Later on, Wright would decide to drop in the floater in the last possible second. Franklin would win 45 to 29. Ooh, really nice throw out. Tuscola meeting Warrensburg late in the first quarter. Clayton Turner fights through all the defenders. He scores a nice bucket. Later on comes Warrensburg late in Will Gustafson with the hook shot. Ooh, that's kind of they call nice. that a reverse. Uh, reverse. Yeah, we good to go. Gustafson out of the heart, out to Austin Harden for the fast break layup. Yeah, he's good to go. Orangeburg Latham wins easily. Easily. 66 to 43. All righty, highlights are in the books now. Well, we're still not done. When we come back, let's check in with 30 second challenge. Keep it right here. All right, welcome back to Friday Night Hang Time. Time to see if someone by the name of Terry Stratton of Springfield drove off with a new car tonight. 
Susan's Auto Mall presents the 30-second challenge. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. You see there, Terry kind of struggled with the uh, free throw portion of this contest. Three misses, and finally on the fourth try, he gets it to go. Hey, he's doing a little dribbling right there. He's trying to get his first three throw right there. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh he got it, good. the first three throw. Yeah, I was there. Right I saw it. I was right there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that is you right there. The blue jacket and give it away? Yeah, no. I oh, even he even helped, helped him out. Look at that. Well done. Well done. I got a pocket full of dollars. Multitasking. Bro. I got a lot of assists left in my tank. <laughs> anyway. The 30 second challenge is brought to you by Susan's Auto Mall in Springfield. All right, before we say goodbye, we want to at least say thank you to all of our fans with our wonderful fan cam tonight. Of course, we appreciate everyone who comes out to all the games and, you know, gets excited in front of the camera. Check it out right there. There's one of our smallest fans right there. Oh, he's a cute little deer, deer tracker. Yeah, John Deer Tracker. Purple Rain, of course. Hope, hope, hope you enjoyed the show. Of course, you can relive all the highlights by visiting WICS.com. He's Dave McCoy. I'm Donnie Tillman. Enjoy Valentine's Day. <laughs>